Hello, I'm Rosemary Mary, and today we're going to be using the Brothered Color Labeled Printer to craft a fantastic birthday card. I've been using this handy little device to make cards for all occasions and for all my family and friends. Okay, so let's make a birthday card, and I've already prepared my base, chosen a pink card and put some layers of card on there as our base for our card. So now if we go into our app, press for my app, and I'm going to make a new design now. I want to make, mm, say, a three inch basket. So now what I'm going to do is go into art, and already preloaded and pre-installed in my app, I have all these categories. And I'm going to go along to Easter because I know there are some baskets in there. So I'm going to go for the basket without the handle. So I've already set my size. Enlarge the basket until I'm happy with the colour, I'm happy with everything. Approve that and then I will print my basket. So my basket's finished. So I just swipe across to release it from the machine and we've got our first piece there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into a new design and now if I go into art again, I'm going to go into the detailed flowers and I can just choose now what I want. So if I press on this, I'll just choose a few more whilst I'm there and let's just move them over a little bit. And then when you're happy with the variety you have, what you can do now is if we press approve and then we go on to stamp, it will start duplicating the flowers for me. So if I press onto this one and if I just make that a little smaller and then press stamp, I'm now starting to layer up my flowers, almost making a corsage. So we're building up the picture that we want to. When you're happy with the amount of flowers you've got and their spacing and the way they've been layered, if you wanted this one in the foreground, you would just press move to front or move to back. And as soon as you're happy with it, you press approve. And now we can actually go to print. To slide my finger across again, to cut it. And there I have my flowers. If I peel them off, and then if I lay them down on some cardstock, they are now ready for me to cut out. But I'm going to make my ribbon before I do that. We've got the 12 in there and it tells me at the top that this is a 12, so we're good to go. So I'm actually going to now extend this. This is three inches long, but I want to make a ribbon to go on my card. So I'm going to grab the hand and I'm going to stretch it to five inches. Approve. And now I'm ready to actually make a background. So if I press on the background, again, I have a whole host of backgrounds here to choose from. I can just scroll through and I know that I want to have a plain background. So here we have um, a category that says colored background. Let's go with a pink. Press approve and then to put my message on, I just press type and this will centralize for me. Happy birthday. Okay, and it looks a little bit bare on there. So what I'm going to do is if I go into art and come back to my flowers, and then let's choose, because we've got a pink, let's see if we've, yes, here we have a white flower. So we choose the white flower, approve it, and then I'll stamp it because I want another to come to the other side. So now as soon as I'm happy with that, um, happy with the colour, happy with the font, I could actually change the font if I wanted to, but I'm going to approve and then I'm going to press print. So as soon as it's done, now I can actually just peel it off and lay it down, but I want to give it a little bit of a, a shape to the end and I will shape this end as well. So I'm going to use this as a border around my card. Okay, and what I've done to speed things along is I've already made three more and put them around my card and lay the basket down. Now the basket did need cutting because I'm, I wanted the shape and then all that remains now is because I've cut my flowers out, I'm going to be able to raise these flowers up because they're on a thin cardstock backing and I'm just going to use a 3D gel and it just means that I've now also been able to make 3D elements with my flowers from the printer. OK, 
Okay, so now I can just decide how I want them to look. Got a lovely bit of height there. And then also on the machine, I have made a little tag. And then that completes my card that I've been able to make using this fantastic little gadget. I've made cards for weddings, birthdays and Christmas and I'm discovering more and more different ways to do it. So next time you're in a card shop and you can't find the right one, why don't you have a think about making one instead?